welcome my dear learners for this course on operations research in this module 1 we were discussing on formulation of linear programming problems and solving the linear programming problems using graphical method we are addressing additional problems on graphical solution for linear programming problems the problem number 10 of our discussion on graphical approach for linear programming problems states that solve the following lpp graphically z minimum is equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 subjected to 5x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10 x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 6 x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to 12 x1 x2 are positive values so far we have solved maximization linear programming problem now we are this problem is a minimization linear programming problem come first let us find out the coordinates of these three constraints that is first you convert all these constraints to the equation form and set one value to zero and find the another one so thereby find out the coordinates of all these three constraints that is if i move for solution we have the first constraint as 5x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10 make it as an equation that is 5x1 plus x2 is equal to 10 now setting x2 to 0 we we'll get the value of x1 as now setting x1 to 0 we get the value of x2 as 10 so therefore the coordinates of first constraint are 2 comma 10 now similarly if i use the second equation we have from the second one so make second one as an equation if i make second one as an equation i will get x1 plus x2 is equal to 6 if we put x2 0 x1 will become 6 if we put x1 0 x2 will become 6 so the coordinates are 6 comma 6 now move for third one if i move for third one we have x1 plus 4 x2 is equal to 12 i made this constraint as an equation now if i set x2 to 0 if I set x2 to x2 as 0, I will get x1 as 12. If I set x1 as 0, I will get x2 as 3. For 3 is a 12. Hence, the coordinates of this are 12 comma 3. So, we have found out the coordinates of all these three constraints. So, let us plot the graph. Let us plot the graph. We know that always y axis represents x2 and x axis represents x1, variable x1. So now if I plot, I will get it as the highest value in y axis that is x2 is 10. So I want the highest value as 10. nine eight seven six five four three two one and then i'll get the origin along x-axis we have the maximum value as 12 Along x-axis, we have the maximum value as 12. Along x-axis, we have the maximum value as 12. So, extend it as much as possible. I want the maximum value as 12. So, I will get it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So always x axis represents the variable x1 and y axis represents the variable x2. So here we have 3, 2 and 1. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 
Antwerp. Since we are using line, objective function, slope line method, I want the negative axis also. So how much is the negative axis requirement? I will use the objective function. We have the objective function as 3x1 z max sorry z minimum we are solving minimization problem z minimum is given as 3x1 plus 2x2 that is 3x1 will be equal to minus 2x2 so therefore x1 by x2 will be minus 2 by 3 hence the coordinates of objective function is minus 2 comma plus 3 so I want minus 2 comma plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so minus 2 comma plus 3 minus 2 comma plus 3 is here minus 2 comma plus 3 here so this is the required objective function coordinate minus 2 comma plus 3 now insert the constraints as well as the objective function line so if I insert the objective function line we have the slope like this so connect minus 2 comma 3 to origin connect minus 2 comma 3 to origin and extend it both front and rear side so this is slope line of objective function now inserting the constraints the first constraint has the coordinate of 2 comma 10 so here we have 2 and here we have 10 so it is 2 comma 10 is the first one so we have the first line as 2 comma 10 so this is the first line and it is evident that we have the constraint as greater than or equal to so therefore it will move upwards greater than or equal to next we have 6 comma 6 so here we have 6 next line is 6 comma 6 next line is 6 comma 6 that also have greater than or equal to sign so therefore line will should move upward so line should move upward next we have the third constraint as 12 comma 3 so we have the next constraint as 12 comma 3 we have the next constraint as 12 comma 3 So I have marked the constraint as 12 comma 3. And this line is also moving upward because this also have the constraint as greater than or equal to. So therefore this is our first constraint and this is our second constraint and this is our third constraint correct so first constraint is 2 comma 10 correct now if i identify the feasible region the region belongs to all these lines all these constraints is this one right so this region does not belongs to constraint 2 this region does not belongs to both constraint 2 as well as constraint 3 so region that belongs to all this is this one so this region belongs to all the constraints so therefore up to infinity we have the feasible region so this is the feasible region which belongs to all these constraints so this is the feasible region
feasible region right so coming for the salient points we have a b c and here we have d so we have the salient points a b c and d since this is a minimization problem again i repeat since this is a minimization problem the nearest to point to this slant line is the solution clear if this problem would have been a maximization problem then we don't have the farthest point and the region is not bounded so hence this problem will have infinite solutions because the feasible region is not bounded hence this is an unbounded feasible region hence the problem will would have been had infinite solutions but since this is a minimization problem the nearest point to this slant line is the solution because this is a minimization problem so boundary is not necessary for minimization problem it is not bounded even though we will get the solution because this is a minimization problem hence it is not unbounded solution it is we will get the solution as the nearest point so if i move the slope the very first point that i am going to get is c so c is the very first c is the very first corner or point that i am going to get so c is the nearest one c is the nearest one then i will get b so then i will get b and then i will get d so c is the nearest one hence c is the solution since this is a minimization problem since this is a minimization problem since this is a minimization problem the nearest point not the farthest the nearest point or corner to the objective function line objective function line is c c now at c we have two lines passing through it at c we have two lines one is constraint 1 and constraint 2 at c at c we have two equations intersecting intersecting solve these two equations solve these two equations that is that is equation 1 and equation 2 either you can solve equation 1 and equation 2 or else you can directly read the coordinates of point c or directly you can read the coordinates of point c and it will give you the solution for the minimization problem that is problem number 10 so but i want the exact solution for this problem hence i'll go and solve the equation so we have the two equations that is equation 1 is 5x1 plus x2 is equal to 10 and equation 2 is x1 plus x2 is equal to 6 6 on solving I'll get the value of x1 and x2 as I'll go for mode select equation first one ax plus by is equal to c a1 is 5 b1 is 1 c1 is 10 a2 is 1 b2 is 1 c2 is 6 since the solution is x1 is 1 and x2 is 5 x1 is 1 and x2 is 5 so if i project i'll get it as 1 and 5 answer is correct 
सो देर फॉर जेड मिनिमम जेड मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू वन प्लस टू इंटू फाइव सो हेन्स द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज थ्री प्लस टेन फाइव टू जै टेन प्लस थ्री इज थर्टीन So I got the exact solution for the minimization problem, where the value of x1 is 1 and the value of x2 is 5, and z minimum is found to be 13. Since this is a minimization problem, I should go for the nearest point to the objective function slant line. So nearest point is found to be c, and the coordinates of c are found to be 1 comma 5. Hence, the solution is 1 comma 5. If this problem would have been a maximization problem, then there is no farthest point to this objective function hence it is an unbounded solution and this problem would have been had an infinite solutions hence the solution is unbounded but since this is a minimization problem we have the solution for this that is the nearest point to the objective function that is c is the nearest point and we got the solution as 13 that's all from this lecture thank you all